टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस वन मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट टॉपिक ऑफ सी प्रोग्रामिंग दैट इज फंक्शंस आई विल डिस्कस मेनली द नीड ऑफ फंक्शंस देन आई विल गिव ए ब्रीफ इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ फंक्शन आफ्टर दैट आई विल डिस्कस द टाइप्स ऑफ फंक्शंस एंड वेरियस कॉन्सेप्ट एसोसिएटेड विद फंक्शंस लाइक फंक्शन डिक्लेरेशन फंक्शन डेफिनेशन फंक्शन कॉल फंक्शन पैरामीटर्स एंड रिटर्न स्टेटमेंट नो I am going to discuss the need of function in programming. There are various uh, uses of function in programming. Some of them are to improve the readability of the code. Splitting a large program into separate functions make the program more readable and maintainable. Functions also improves the reusability of the code. If a particular task is required at multiple places in a program, then rather than writing the same code again and again we create a function and call it whenever necessary thus it also reduces the size of the code it is also easy to debug a small sub program or functions rather than a large programs now let me define what is a function c language enables programmer to break up a program into segments commonly known as functions a function is a group of statements which is used to perform a specific task c program generally consists of many small functions and a function has mainly function name return type parameter list and function body now what is function name a meaningful function name is preferable in programming so that it would be easy to understand the purpose of the function and it would be easy to understand the purpose of the function just seeing its name so function name is very important the function name and the parameter list together constitute the function header now what is return type the return type is the data type of the value the function returns a function may or may not return a value return type can be any data type like integer float character etc when a function returns nothing then the return type will be void now i am coming to parameter list the parameter list refers to the data type order and number of parameters of a function parameters are optional a function may contain no parameters then what is function body the function body contains a collection of statements that defines what the function does that means the main working of a function is defined in the function body part In C programming there are mainly two kinds of functions one is built in function and other is user defined function built in function is also known as library functions now what is built in function or library function library functions are the functions which already have a, a definition in header files so we just call them whenever there is a need to use them header files are required to be included for using library functions in a program programmers do not have to write code to implement the library functions there are various library functions defined in the header file for example in the header file stdio.h uh, there are library functions like printf scanf etc similarly in the header file string.h there are many library functions like string cat string reverse string length string compare etc in the header file conio.h that means configuration input output header file there are many functions like clear screen for clearing the screen get sys etc for using mathematical function we have library functions in the header file math.h like uh, power for power function we have to use pow then square root function for finding the square root and various trigonometric functions are available in the header file math.h these are library functions now what is user defined functions the functions that we create in a program are known as user defined functions we have seen almost all programs in c programming the main function is a user defined function except the name of the function and the number of arguments and argument types are not user defined and main is a example of user defined function and program execution starts from the main function today i will discuss how to create user defined functions and how to use them in c programming now i am going to discuss function declaration function declaration is also referred to as function prototype 
A function declaration provides the following information to the compiler. It gives the name of the function, the type of the value return, the number and the type of the arguments that must be supplied in a function call of the function. Now let me take one example how to declare a function. Now let me discuss what is function declaration. This is the syntax of uh, a function prototype and function declaration. Here, here I have written the return type first, then function name, then parameter list separated by commas. And after that I have used one semicolon. In a function declaration or function prototype, this semicolon is very necessary. Here I have given three examples of function declaration statement. In the first statement, uh, the function name is sum, return type is integer, and the parameter list contains uh, two parameters separated by comma and after this declaration statement one semicolon is given. In the second statement the return type is integer, function name is maximum and there are three parameters in the parameter list and it will give the uh, maximum of three numbers. In the third uh, function declaration uh, return type is float and it will add three uh, numbers having uh, decimal points. So the type of these parameters are written float and it after the ending of this declaration one semicolon is used. This is the way of declaring, uh, declaring a function. Now I am coming to function definition part. A function definition comprises of mainly two parts. One is function header and the second one is function body. And the first line of the function definition is called function header. Function body contains the statements to perform the desired task. Function body is enclosed within second bracket and, uh, and is composed of statements that make up the function. The function header and function declaration must <coughs> use the same function name, number of arguments, types of arguments and the return type. Now I am going to write the syntax of function definition. Here I have written the syntax of defining a function. First I have uh, used return type, then function name. After that, uh, the list of parameters, data type. I have to give the uh, data type of the parameters, data type then variable name, data type then variable name, like this. After that, within second bracket, I have given local variables. I have to define the local variables. Then statements in inside the uh, function and after that, after doing the calculation or anything, then uh, the value will be returned with this statement, return statement. Then we have to specify the variable where the uh, result is stored and this value is returned to the call function. This is the syntax of function definition. I have written one example of defining a function. here. Some function is defined. Uh, in this uh, definition, return type is integer, then function name, then two, uh, two variable name. That means in parameter list, there are two variables. Then this is the local variable, and the s. S is the local variable where I store the uh, addition of this two value. Addition of um, value stored in this variable a and b will be stored in this variable s, and the result. Uh, result stored in variable s is returned with the help of this return statement. Now I am coming to function call. A function call is specified by the function name followed by the values of the parameters enclosed within a parenthesis and it is terminated by semicolon. The list of variables used in function call is known as actual parameter list. The actual parameter list may contain variable names, expressions or constant. If the return type is not void, then the value returned by a call function may be assigned to some variable. Now I am going to discuss what is function parameters. Function parameters are the means of communication between calling and the call function. C functions exchange information by means of parameters. Parameters are classified as formal parameters and actual parameters. Now what is formal parameters? The parameters which appear in the first line of the function definitions are referred to as formal parameters. Formal parameters are local variables 
which are assigned values from the arguments when the function is called. Now, what is the actual parameter? When a function is called, the values that are passed in the call are called the actual parameters. At the time of the call, its actual parameter is assigned to the corresponding formal parameters in the function definition. It may be expressed in constant, single variable or more complex expression. However, each actual parameter must be of the same data type as its corresponding formal parameters. Now, let me explain it with, a, with an example. Here I have written the syntax of function call. We have to specify the name of the function, then the uh, variables. The, uh, these variables are known as actual parameters. After that, I have used one semicolon in the function call statement. This is the syntax of function call. And there are some examples of function call in the first example at x j function and there are two variables. In the second uh, function call statement, this way is the, is the function name and I have not specified any variable name inside this bracket because this function returns nothing. So, return type is void. So, uh, here I have not mentioned any variable names. In the third uh, function call statement, average is the function name and there are three variables x, y and z. These are the actual parameters. These all are actual parameters. The parameters we use in function call are known as external parameter and the parameters used in function uh, definition that is in the function header are formal parameters. Now I am coming to return statement. The return statement is used to terminate the execution of a function and returns control to the calling function. For returning a value we have to use the keyword return and after that within the first bracket we have to specify the variable name. Now I am going to write the syntax of return statement in function. This is the syntax of return statement. First we have to use this keyword return then variable name. Variable name can be expression. In this in this uh, syntax here I have given within the first bracket an expression is used. One example of this type of return statement is this one return a into b. The multiplication of these two variables is return to the calling function. In this example, result is return to the call function. Here, the maximum value of the variable is, uh, of number of variable is stored in the maximum and this maximum is return to the call function. And here, uh, as I already uh, told, the x a into b is return to the main function. This is the syntax of Today I have discussed how to declare a function, how to call a function, how to define a function. I have also discussed the types of parameters in a function, formal and actual parameters. In my next presentation, I will discuss how to um, call by value and call by reference in function and I will come with some more complex examples of functions. Thank you.